Hi guys, it's Max again. Um, hopefully you've watched the previous videos and today we're going to go into a bit about stance. Everyone's different, but the main thing is you're comfortable. Everything's nice and loose, nice and straight. And we're going to go over to the dartboard and go through a few different stances and hopefully help you find what's going to work best for you. Well, hopefully now you can see my mediocre size eight chubby feet. And we're going to start off with a straight on stance. With this, you put your toes to the oki, you've got a nice central balance point. You're not going to be swaying side to side, rocking backwards and forwards. All your weight's right down the center. This is the best. If you're really unsteady on your feet, this really is the best stance to take to start with. Because this is going to keep you in the same position every time you're going for your throw. You'll be able to line up your feet in the same spot and you're not going to have to worry about how far you're leaning one way, leaning back, or whether or not you've got enough balance over one foot. So you're going to line up, and whether you're an aiming player, or going straight in, a bit like Michael Smith, either way, you're going to be more central to the board. You're going to be looking straight down, and you're going to be concentrating on your focus points, and go straight down. This is going to keep all your weight nice and central, See how you get on with this one. It's not for everyone. You're not gonna get any closer to the board. You're not gonna, so it feels as comfortable. But give it a go. Now, we're going into side on. This is the most common stance. You're gonna put your foot straight up to the side of the hockey. You're gonna get your weight over your forward foot. And some of you are gonna be different. Some of you are gonna to wanna to keep your back foot planted on the floor. Others are going to want to go to a toe. Some people are going to put all the weight on the foot and just balance on a tiptoe. This isn't the greatest thing because you're not going to have the stability that all the others are going to have. So we're going to start and we'll, we'll go in the between. We'll go with the toe, but you can play with this and see what's best for you. So we're going to stand side on to the hockey. We're going to get our about shoulders width apart and we're going to get onto our toe. So we've got a nice balance point. At this, you'll see we're slightly leaning forward, but this is putting all of our weight over this front leg, which is gonna give us the stability. And as you see, I'm stood here, and I can slightly sway backwards or forwards. If this is happening, just put a bit more of your foot down, and you'll get more of a stronger stance. And with this one, this is more for side-on throw, I would say. And you're gonna line up your shot straight down, and, Again, this is all dependent on how you throw. If this isn't working for your throw, don't forget there's a couple more stances to try. But with this, you've got good stability, you're closer to the board, meaning you don't have to put so much effort in, which is always good. Now, this is my personal favorite, and I see a lot of people doing this stance. This is more of a in-between. They're gonna put their foot in at a slight angle. It could be anywhere between sort of like 20 and 90 degrees. I tend to go around 45 degrees. And again, just on my toe. So all my weight is over my right foot, but by not being dead side on, I'm not leaning forward too much. So I'm not gonna be swaying backwards and forwards as much. With my darts, all my consistency is when I'm nice and sturdy and I can get a nice consistent stand and I'm not moving about. If you're moving about, your darts aren't going to go in the same place. Make sure you're nice and sturdy and you feel comfortable. Doing this for a little while, you might find your forward leg going a little bit tired if you've not done this before. But again, line up your darts, give it a few throws, see how you feel. Feel if you feel comfortable. See if you're swaying backwards or forwards, if you're moving about, then Try putting your foot flat, give yourself a bit more stability. You won't be able to lean forward as much, but that's not always a bad thing. Anyway, give this a go. Let us know how you get on. Okay guys, we've gone through those three stances. See how you get on, see which one works best for you. If you're so used to your usual stance, I'd say don't change. You can give them a go during practice, but don't go changing drastically if you're doing well. This is mainly for you people that want to improve slightly, who's struggling, he just needs a little bit of guidance. Okay guys, now you've watched us do some uh, things to do with stance, maybe you're a side on, maybe you're a straight on, maybe you're like 
some of us, we stand slightly at a 45 degree angle and hopefully you're going to have fun, you're going to be more consistent and you're going to start getting all of those 20s. Don't forget to subscribe, tick that bell and look out for future videos.